Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Daniela, and today's video is on... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, can you focus please? Today's video is on the Little Twin Stars and Sugar Pill collaboration. The whole collection, at least this box, is $79. This is what the front looks like. This is the back. So this comes with a liquid lip duo, the eyeshadow palette, and a makeup bag. You can buy these items separately, but if you want to get the makeup bag that comes with it, you have to buy the whole set. Now that the eyeshadow palette retails for $38, I believe, and the liquid lip duo retails for $36 if you want to buy it separately. Let me take off the sleeve. Is she so cute? I don't know if you can see that there's like some little clear designs on the box as well. This is, I'm afraid it's gonna fall. So this is what the inside looks like. Okay, so this is the palette. Let's see, this is the back of the palette. So it has six shades in it. One of them is matte. Three of them are foiled shadows, and then. Two of them are frost shadows. The sleeve just fell. <laughs> so this is the colors. These are the lipsticks, which is super cute. It's actually the color of Kiki and Lala's hair. This makeup bag is so cute. You can fit the eyeshadow palette. You can fit the liquid lipstick. Let's jump ahead to the eyeshadows. I already have my base makeup on, my brows done. I figured since most of these colors are kind of like, or at least the matte shade is pastel, I think I am going to go in with a white eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Primer Stick. Then I'm going to be blending that out with my finger. Now I'm going to be setting my eyes with Sugar Pill's white eyeshadow. This is the shade Taco, which is this one right here. I'm using a Japanese brush to set that. This is the 835 brush. I have no idea what I want to do for this look to be honest mm, uh, I don't know what I want to do I don't know but this is so cute I'm so sad to be going in and using it <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here which is star ribbon I'm gonna use my morphe m441 brush I'm just picking that up Ooh. That is a very soft pastel shade. I'm gonna be taking it here in my inner part of my eye. Just slowly doing windshield wiper motions. I was actually gonna take it in my outer area, but I think I'm gonna kinda do a reverse defined eye, if that makes sense. So far, this shade is actually blending in really nicely. It honestly helps a lot if you prime your eye with a white base. And there is no fallout. Usually with sugar pill matte shades, they don't really have any fallout. As you can see, this is blending out really nicely. I want to try and use all the shades in the palette. I'm not sure if I want to mix my other sugar pill shades in here just because I feel like I'm cheating, but... I don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up, Daniela. This shade I really like a lot, though. This is so cute. Oh my god! I'm gonna go in with the shade Star Candy, which is that light pink shade. Ooh. This one, I feel like there might be some fallout, so I am just gonna take, like, tissue paper and set that under my eye, just because I did my base first. Then I'm gonna go in in this outer corner over here. Try and pack this on a little bit more. And I'm going to blend it in with that star ribbon shade. I 
So since I am picking up a little bit of product um, while I'm doing this, it doesn't really have that much fallout. I don't think it actually has fallout at all. But then again, I like I said, I am picking up a little bit of product. That is really cute though. This reminds me of a look I did on my birthday when I turned 19, I think it was. After this video, I don't think I'm ever going to use this palette again just because I don't want to hit pan on any of the shades. I don't think I mentioned this before, but the whole collection is limited edition. So once they sell out, they will not be restocking. They're not going to be releasing the shades individually later on. Like, that's it. I'm going in and intensifying this, um, the Star Ribbon shade. Just because I do want it to be a little bit more pigmented than the pink shade. I'm gonna go in and use my NYX multitask <laughs> my NYX multitasker mixing medium. I'm gonna take literally a tiny drop of this on my finger and put it all over my lid. And what this is gonna do is just gonna act as a sticky base and adhere the foiled shadows that I'm gonna put on my lid. That way I won't have to worry about fallout and this won't crease on me later on during the day. I'm gonna go in with Cloud Maker, which is the shimmery blue shade. I'm gonna pick that up on a wet and wild brush. I'm just gonna pack that on. Yeah, and this shade does have a little bit of fallout. I can see it already. I don't want to use my finger, so I'm just going to go lightly. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so definitely with your finger, you can get the most pigmentation. But honestly, I expect that with all type of foiled shadows. I always like to use my finger because it's just intense and beautiful. Like, look, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so now that I've done that on my other eye, I'm gonna go ahead and take Twinkle Twinkle, which is the gold shade in the palette. And I'm gonna pick that up on a... Here. I picked that up on a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush from the Crystal Quartz brush set. And I'm gonna lightly pat that in. I'm gonna put it in the inner down here okay I'm gonna pick up that shade and spray it with my Mario Badescu spray This gold shade though is so fitting for little twin stars. Because if you look at some of their designs and stuff or like products that have little twin stars on them, you see like kind of like gold lining around it so that fits perfectly. So next I'm gonna take Wish, which is that darker shade. I'm gonna put that on the outer part of my eye and I'm also gonna wet my brush again. use the shade dream dust is that champagne shade down here i've seen a lot of people use that specific shade to highlight highlight under the brow bone so i'm gonna do that too and i'm gonna take my real techniques accent brush okay so i think because there's some red on here Use the same BH Cosmetics number 10 brush, picking it, picking up Dream Dust again, and I'm gonna place that in my inner corner. I'm not a fan of brow bone highlight. I don't know, maybe I'm. I don't. It's not that I don't like it. I just don't usually do it. But this shade is really pretty under the brow. Oh. Oh, I like these shades a lot. I think this look definitely calls for glitter, so I'm gonna be using the Super Glitters 
Magellan's Spark glitter. This is like a chunky glitter that they have. I think I'm going to apply the glitter on my outer corner right here and a little bit on my inner corner. I got this really cool looking tool the other day. This is the e.l.f. silicone glitter applicator and it has this tip of it made of silicone. So it helps pick up glitter. So I'm going to put that on there. Yeah, that that's really cute. A look this is a look ah! now that I've done the eyes I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera I'm gonna apply lashes off camera and then I will be back to do the lips so I'm back and I'm sorry if I'm like off center during the entire part of the video I just looked back and realized and it annoys the living hell out of me but I already recorded it what can you do so moving on, I'm gonna do my lips now. I've already done my lashes, my highlight, my blush, all that, and I will leave everything that I used down below in the description box, just in case if you're wondering what I use. Moving on to the lips now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do Kiki on the outer part of my lips and then Lala in the middle. So I am gonna use a lip brush. I'm just taking my Spectrum A15 lip brush I'm gonna put those colors on the back of my hand and then go ahead and put them on. For added sparkle on my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Show Gold and just lightly tap that on my lips. So this is it. This is me using all of the Sugar Pill and Little Twin Star collaboration products on my face. Well, thoughts on this product? I really like everything. If you are a fan of Sanrio and Little Twin Stars, I highly recommend getting this. I think it makes an awesome collector's like, you know, little collector's item. You can put it somewhere to display it. I know I'm probably gonna be doing that. Foiled shadows and the shimmer ones, they tend to have fallout, but it's not a big deal if you do your eyes first and your base second, or you just do what I did and just use a tissue and then just apply it. And then that way it'll catch the fallout. Lipsticks are super cute. I highly recommend everything. Everything's cute. Like there's nothing bad about this collection. If you enjoyed the look, I hope you go out and buy some things from this collection yourself. Everything I use will be listed in the description box down below. Pretty much all I have left to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see from me next, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!